Hello and congratulations on receiving your August craft box. I'm really excited to walk you through the steps of creating your sea glass mobile. So don't let the amount of stuff that you received for this craft overwhelm you. I promise it is not going to be um, that difficult to do. It's just a lot of steps. The first step that you want to do is put that stuff aside and start with your twine. So you're going to take your twine and measure out where you would like to put your pieces. So what I usually do is start my first piece just with about one ruler length. So I'm going to mark and then I'm going to take whichever piece of glass I'd like to put first and I'm going to put it over top and I'm going to fold it over once and then fold it over again and I am going to tie my knot using my big end here. But if you notice, that makes it really difficult. So what I'm actually going to do is measure my whole thing out. So I want to put my first piece, like I said, about one full length, which apparently I did not measure very well. So let's mark that again. One full length here. And then I'm going to do my second piece down about another full length and then I want to do my third piece same thing and my shell the same thing and then I will need some extra rope for all my tying and my winding around so I'm gonna take about three extra rulers from my last mark so there is my first string I want two of them to be about the same size so I'm gonna take it line it up with this piece here, pull it out until I've got about the same length and I am going to just cut. So now I've got my first two pieces cut. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to go back to my first piece with my marks on it and I'm going to just make sure that I have my marks in the right spot this time. So when I'm putting my pieces of sea glass, I want to line them up with my mark that I have on my twine there and I need to decide where on here I want to place them. Once I know where I want to place it I am going to just put a little bit of crazy glue right on the top here and that way when I do my first wrap I'm going to hold it down into place and then the next one I'm going to put just a little bit at the bottom here and take my next piece and I'm going to do it around and then I'm going to tie my knot. Now remembering that I wanted to keep my pieces approximately a ruler length apart, I can either now measure from where my knot is down or I can measure from where the end of the piece of glass is down. I am going to measure from where the knot is down or you can just put your piece of sea glass right on it. I'm going to go with green next, I think. And again, I'm starting with it facing the rope. And I'm going to just put my little piece of crazy glue there and do my first wrap. And then I am coming around to the bottom where I am going to put my second little bit of crazy glue and wrap and then come around and do my knot and I'm going to keep going until I have my pieces all lined up. Once I've got my three pieces on I'm going to go to the bottom and tie on one of the shells that I have given you with the hole in it and then I'm just going to cut the end off of that and I've got my first string done. So now that I've got the first one done, I'm going to move on and do the exact same thing with the second piece of uh, twine that I have already cut to those measurements. So now that my first two pieces are done, I'm going to go on and do my next two pieces, but I want to make sure that they're a little bit more um, spaced than these ones. These ones here, I did a pretty good job keeping them even, except at the bottom here. Um, remember, it is a wind chime, so uh, they are going to make noise and that's a good thing if they're spaced a little bit further apart. 
So for this one here, I'm going to start, and I'm going to actually start by going down one and a half instead of just one. And what that's going to do is start my piece just a little bit lower down. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure out one and a half instead of doing the full one and make my mark. And then I'm going to keep, now I'm just going to keep doing one down from there and mark it out for my three pieces. One, two, and then of course I want to give myself the extra for the winding. So I'm going to do about three again, one, and then I am going to cut. And for the one on the other side, I'm going to just take my ends, go down, cut it the same length, and then it's going to be the exact same process of marking it out, gluing the top and bottom, and then working your way through those. When I get to the bottom of my second one, instead of tying the shell, I am going to tie one of the uh, little crystal dingle dangle thingies that I've included in the kit. So there you should have those last two pieces done. And again, you've got the crystals hanging on the bottom instead of the shells. So once you have those in place, you need to create your um, <clears throat> top piece where you're going to hang them. So I've included two pieces of wood for you to use. If you want, you can start by crazy gluing the pieces together. Um, I'm not going to. Um, so what I'm going to do first is take my first piece and I'm just going to leave like, I guess for lack of a better word, a bit of a tail on it here and I'm going to tie my first knot onto it and then holding it with the knot on the bottom I'm going to take my other piece and put it on top and I'm going to start taking my roll of twine and I'm going to go from this corner to this corner of my wood and I want to go as tight as I can, so it is a little bit awkward to hold it, but I'm going to do that corner to that corner, and then I did it twice, and then I'm going to switch directions and go from the other corner. So I'm just kind of crossing it over here, and now going this corner to this corner, and I'm going to do that a couple of times as well. And then once I've got that in place I can keep going if I want to however many times I feel the need to go but you can see even just with those couple times it's pretty tight so it shouldn't actually fall apart on me nothing's gonna slip nothing's gonna go it's in there pretty good so once I'm comfortable with how it is I'm going to use my little tail that I left and I'm going to tie a another knot and then I'm going to cut not the little tail part but the roll from it so I've got the twine but I still have my little itty bitty tail hanging there and I'm just gonna hang my last little uh, shell with the hole in it onto this one if you would rather you can do a shell on all of these um, ones here instead of doing one of the crystals. I did provide enough holy shells for it and then you could just do it with one crystal hanging in the middle instead of a shell. So putting your ends on there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. So the first way that you can do it is the very simple just tie it on with your knot tightly so that it doesn't slip off and then you would do the two the same on each side um, opposite them or I did provide little screws for you which is what I'm going to use when you're putting your little screw in it's actually not that difficult but 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 what you want to do is you want to kind of start at an angle for your twist just to get that grip going first and once you've got the grip in there then you can straighten it out so you can see I'm starting it kind of at an angle just to get oops I pushed too much of an angle just to get that in and now that it's in I'm going to straighten it up and twist it all the way in. If you have a hard time twisting it you can certainly grab yourself a pair of pliers but it is relatively easy. Um, I mean I have arthritis in my hands and I'm able to do it. 
thankfully not that bad. And I'm just going to keep twisting until I can't twist it anymore. And then I'm going to do that on all four ends before I tie my strings on. With all four screws in, I can then decide how I want to um, hook it up from the top. I did provide another screw if you wanted to put a screw there at the top, or you can take some more of your twine and just come up. So this one's not long enough, so you have to cut a piece. Cut up around the middle and then tie your knot here and then tie another knot up there and hang it that way. So it is totally up to you um, how you want to tie it. I think I'm probably going to do it just with the rope. So I'm going to actually go around it again just to make sure that it's nice and secure because I don't want... So now that I have all of my wood ready to go, it is time for me to tie on my little pieces. So I'm just going to take one and tie my knots and do that all the way around. You can see I tried to line up the pieces of them here just so that when it bangs, it bangs together. And I don't want to leave my little D's hanging out, so I'm just going to clip those off. And there I have my mobile. Thank you so much for supporting me by buying the August subscription box. I hope that you enjoyed making the mobile wind chime and I look forward to crafting with you again next month. So please feel free to send me pictures of your images or to upload them onto my YouTube channel or tag me in Instagram. And I hope that you are having yourself an absolutely fabulous day.